okay so let's now uh, discuss the document for the interview of m o i l the manganese ore uh, in you know india limited so uh, let's discuss about the uh, uh, this particular about this in, uh, organization this is uh, public sector and uh, many of you have got the interview calls from this and as uh, we have already uh, discussed many times that uh, document or uh, waste upon the website of that organization is very important to prepare for hr part of any uh, you know uh, any particular organization because in the interview they tend to ask you the questions related to that so you can always download this document prepared by europedia education uh, from the website of europedia and uh, you can go through this but let me briefly cover this uh, document for you so that uh, it, it becomes easier for you to later on revise it so okay now this uh, document is for manganese or india limited this is the uh, company which is you know mini ratna uh, public sector and uh, headquarter is in nagpur now the share market share of it has a market share of 50% uh, in the manganese ore of india and there are 11 mines in uh, uh, you know maharashtra and madhya pradesh so largely it is in maharashtra and madhya pradesh and uh, then uh, we should know what is the founding year and uh, you know uh, cmd is mukund uh, choudhury and uh, what is the output that you should know so some of the important informations like uh, uh, you know which what are the areas from where we can get extract these ores what is the market share these are important you should revise it and also sometimes they ask you that what is the situation of this company in fortune 500 so uh, moil is uh, a category mani ratna company we have already discussed what is the meaning of that it was uh, in originally incorporated as manganese or uh, india limited in 1962 subsequently the name was changed so this some of the informations you should have uh, before you go for the interview and then some historical information uh, just to go through this how it all uh, you know evolved this i have taken from the website of the company and you should know final situation like presently what is the situation government of india is having this much percentage of share 54% then the government of maharashtra and government of madhya pradesh and that is the reason he may ask you how many mines are being operated by m o i l and out of these mines how many are in maharashtra and madhya pradesh as you can see majority of these in these two places and those of you who are from madhya pradesh and maharashtra they should also name the you know the names of these mines seven are located in nagpur and uh, you know this district uh, bandara district of maharashtra and four in uh, uh, balaghat district of madhya pradesh out of uh, you know uh, these mines many mines are very very old mines and uh, you know they are uh, bala balaghat mine is the largest mine and uh, up to 383 meter deep it is so then some more information uh, which is open cast mine and what is you know closed mine and open cast mines this uh, information also you should know uh, mol fulfills about 50% of total requirement of uh, uh, this uh, dioxide ore in india and present uh, present what is the production that you should know and uh, different grades of manganese ore it is dealing with uh, and they are these are the these ores you know uh, ferro manganese and silico manganese and these are the different ore so sometime he will ask you what are the different grades of ore i am very sure you people are aware about blast furnace what is blast furnace so you keep on asking what are the most important subjects for uh, this particular interview so as you can see blast furnace and all you study these things in material science so you should be good in this and what is the application of that so dioxide for dry battery cell and chemical industries ke liye this is the important thing so moil has set up a plant based on indigenous technology to manufacture 1500 mt million metric ton i suppose per annum capacity of uh, electrolytic manganese dioxide this product is used by dry battery cell so what are the various ores what is the product based upon this where what are the industries suitable for this please go through that in detail okay so uh, moil is also into renewable energy and conventional energy domain and it has installed 4.8 megawatt of wind energy farm at nagada hill 
uh, in Madhya Pradesh. So where are the mines and Madhya Pradesh and Maharashtra names are provided here along with office details and all. I have taken this from the sites. Another image which I got uh, from the website of MOIL. These are the working mines, you know, so you can have a look where these mines are, especially if you're from these states. Yes, we should know about the CMD. What is his background? He's a chartered accountant. He's not engineer, he's chartered accountant. And then you should know from where he started his journey and what are the things which are in credit to him. Also, sometimes you know, they tend to ask you the director of HR. Why? Because the people who are interviewing you, they're from HR and uh, they sometimes tend to ask you the name of their uh, director, especially if the director is the first, uh, you know, uh, lady director of that organization. So Mrs. Usha Singh is the first HR director of MYL. What is her background? That also you should know. Now, what is the, you know, uh, this uh, ministry, which is the ministry responsible for this is Ministry of Steel. But Ministry of Steel has many PSUs under it. So like Steel Authority of India Limited, Rashtriya Ispath Nigam Limited, NMDC, M Mekon Limited, Moil. So these all are ministries, these PSUs under this ministry. And also, also they tend to ask you the name of the ministers. So who is the minister, Honorable Minister of Steel, uh, Shri Ramchandra Prashad, and then Minister of State also they tend to ask you. So what are the various products of uh, MOIL? So what is the excavation manganese dioxide ore that is what you should know and what is the production capacity that also you should know and uh, you know other ores also names also you should be aware about and what do they produce so thousand ton of electrolytic grade which is used in dry batteries so we're talking about electric vehicle now nowadays so maybe this particular thing will become uh, related to that and also renewable energy may what we are producing some information about mines we have already discussed above and this is also related to that only. After this, you know, uh, what are the Maharatana companies and how the status of Maharatana, Mini Ratana, Navaratana is given. That particular thing because it is a Mini Ratana company, so you should have some knowledge about this. So Mini Ratana company is the company which can invest up to 500 crore of uh, per annum, uh, uh, you know, or uh, or an amount equal to its net worth without any permission from the ministries. Then we talk more about Maharatana company and what are the criteria. So then two very important things he can ask you is that if you want to join, why you want to join MOIL? You say, sir, I want to join because it is public sector and uh, you get, you know, a prestigious job, stable job, something like that. Uh, but then he will ask you that if, what if it becomes private? private? So you should have this knowledge. You should say, sir, no doubt, Government of India is serious uh, uh, in now making the public sector as private, but only loss-making companies, not profit-making companies. They are not uh, making the profit-making companies should not be privatized. What do you mean by uh, disinvestment, strategic disinvestment? Little bit knowledge about that is required. And uh, also, uh, what is the benefit of privatization or disinvestment that you should read? Please go through these documents. And another thing which is very important nowadays is National Asset Monetization Pipeline. So what is the meaning of this and uh, National Asset Monetization Pipeline and which are the sectors involved in this that you should be aware. So uh, I'm very sure uh, if you go through this document, then some of the answers you can give based upon the information required for MOIR. So please proceed forward in that direction and try to revise all the things which are provided here and visit the website also. Once you've done that, pop up for the HR and we prepare for the interview of this organization. Thank you.